Blue Spectacles beer review is going to be tasting Heineken Dark. This beer gets a um, good two excellent scores on Beer Advocates, um, but no, it was like it was like 84, and by, by the site, by by all the people, the average score, and I think it was like 70, 70, 74 or something for the Bros. I, I know that the Bros rated it lower than the average score of the rest of the whole site. So um, this is a Euro Dark Lager. It is five five percent alcohol. <clears throat> You know, you have your Heineken, your regular Heineken lager that you get in your green bottles, which is the most common, and you also get it in your cans, too. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this is a less common, however, still kind of common version of it. Um, I've had this before, um, but I haven't had it for, like, maybe, you know... Probably, I, I remember I had it when, when I turned when I turned 21 on my 21st birthday. Um, <clears throat> so it's not hasn't been since then, and I'm I'm 25 now. So um, <clears throat> it didn't. They changed the label. It used to be um, like the same green. I think it used to be still. I'm not sure how, if it was still a dark bottle, but it used to have like red around here. But I'm liking the way that they redid this so let's go ahead and try it i've had like like i said i've had it a long a long time ago so i don't really have any way of rating it for right now before i haven't even, haven't even tried it it's been so long <coughs> bubbles yeah after i pop the bubbles there's some smoke smoke coming up <coughs> This is not a ale, this is a Euro Dark Lager is what, what this is. What does it have be in Papillion? $1.60 for a single. Okay. Very thick, five finger. Um, caramel colored head, but still kind of, still almost like a darker brown than that. <clears throat> the body is um, brownish red. When you put it in the light, there's like a ruby highlight that comes through it, or and there and it's clear, very clear with uh, a good amount of bubbles. It looks really nice. Like um, I like the head that it, that it has built up from that pour. <clears throat> well. Um, What I'm getting, like, off the bat is, like, a roasted note, a roasted malt note. That's, de that's definitely there. Um, <clears throat> a light, a light brightness, not super there, but it's there a little bit. Um, and that's what I'm getting. Let's, let's go ahead and try this. Pretty that is. <clears throat> and I can see how the beer snobs would kind of kind of bash this because it's by Heineken, which is a a mass produced which is which is a company that mass produces beer and that's just they turn turn their noses at it like it's you know, Yeah, like same kind of. It's it's mellow. It's very mellow, but <clears throat> I mean, it, there's there's flavor there, so it's not like it's not like um, you know a beer that has no flavor. It has flavor, but it's a mellow flavor. That flavor being of roasted malt, a slight hop backbone. Um, <clears throat> Um, and then there is a brown ruddy thing going on too. Yeah, there's almost almost like a caramely thing there too, like a caramel aspect, caramel malt aspect. <clears throat> Either way, like you know, 
whatever you know you think that you're getting out of this, I think it's um, it is nonetheless an, a, a delicious beer. I mean, you can't. There's no real. There's no crippling issue with it at all. <clears throat> The mouth feels dry, light to medium, but kind of really light. You know, it's light for a dark beer or even even a dark lager. You know, it's it's not it's not it's not as light as but as of like Bud Light, but it's light. Um, it's drinkable and it's refreshing, and I think it's awesome. I think that I like the bottle. I think that's awesome. The, the way they redesigned the bottle, or they the they they redesigned the label. I don't know if they re, redid the bottle, <clears throat> but I think this is an A, an A beer. I think that um, I think that some people might um, like criticize it because it's not like pungent enough. It's not in your face enough. But I think that we need to also understand that while your hot bombs, you know, stuff like that is you know, really awesome, and we like those things, we need, also need to understand that we also need to, you know, um, take note that mellow beers, like, say, this, or Tetley's Smooth Flow, or Murphy's uh, Stout, or Guinness Draft Stout, <laughs> although they are mellow, you know, although, they don't, although, although they, they don't have as, have as much flavor as, say, Founders Breakfast out or or something or something like that, they're still worth um, trying and worth drinking because you shouldn't. I think that we should be praising more than just your hot bombs or your, you know, your huge like Founders Breakfast outs or whatever you know the whatever the, the whatever the craft beer world is praising at, at the moment. Um, nonetheless, this is an, an a an a definitely an a. I think that. If you can get a six pack of it, I mean, I would do it. I don't. I didn't see a six, a six pack of it. I just saw this the single because I was gonna buy a six pack, but I didn't see a six pack. So, if I see a six pack of this, I'm getting that because also if it's it, even if, also if it's a if, it, if it's a six six pack on sale, I'm definitely doing that. You know, um, either way, I think if you're getting this in a single or a six pack, it definitely with your money and your time and your palate. <clears throat>